Tell me. Hi, I'm Dr. Altman. I'm here in, uh, well, in my classroom in Oswego, New York. But I'm here with uh, fellow physics teacher, uh, Mrs. Naren. Hi, Mrs. Naren. Hi, Dr. Altman. I'm, uh, right now, I'm traveling somewhere around the world. Are you? Yeah. I'm in Oswego. And so am I. I came to visit you. <laughs> All right, I'm set up my tent outside so Very that uh, I can save money on hotel bills. Very and good. we're traveling around. Uh, let's play with optics, okay? Okay. All right. Let's do. Now, Mrs. Naren, you're standing in front of a clear box, yes? I am. What will happen when you shine the laser into the clear box? The laser will go through the box. Why is that? Because it's transparent. Oh, yes. that's pretty cool. I like that. Mm -hmm. All right, now let's take a balloon and put it inside the box. Okay. Magically, we have a balloon right here. Now talk about the balloon being dark. The balloon is dark, therefore when we shine the laser on it, um, the laser will <laughs> pop the balloon. <laughs> it me out every time. Yeah, it does. You, I can tell you're being freaked out. <laughs> All right, the light will go through the clear transparent stuff. Uh, by definition, that's what transparent is. Light goes through it. And there's all sorts of reasons why it'll go through something that's transparent that are real tricky. Come to my class, I'll explain it. But if it hits something that's dark, the light doesn't go through quite as easily. And some of that light energy gets turned into heat, and uh, the heat energy will cause the rubber to melt. Now, this is a balloon that's been blown up very, uh, uh, very blown up-y. Blown, <laughs> blown up-y. It's uh, a high pressure. It's under high pressure, and so it's straining against the uh, surface of the balloon. And so if uh, we put any kind of uh, uh, indentation or imperfection in that surface, we can cause the entire thing to catastrophically fail. <laughs> Is that cool? I love it. For those of us that don't have lucite boxes in our classrooms, we can use a clear balloon with a dark balloon on the inside. Whoa, that went way faster than I thought. All right, once again, light passes through the clear box pretty easily. Not so much, not so much the balloon. So if we put the balloon in the clear box, the light from the laser can pass easily through the clear box. We lose a little bit. You can actually see at the surfaces where it's hitting, but it's going through it. But when we hit the balloon, it doesn't go through the balloon. Instead, it melts a little hole, and because of the pressure, the balloon rips. So here's what happens. Light goes through the lucite. The laser, which can burn things, goes through the lucite without affecting it at all because somehow the energy passes through the lucite. It hits a balloon, which isn't as thick as the lucite, it's not as heavy as the lucite, but it's opaque. Opaque simply by definition. Light doesn't pass through it. It hits the balloon and the energy changes to heat, melts the balloon, causes it to pop. So the question becomes, how does light go through clear stuff? It's really kind of an interesting concept. However, it's kind of like this. I've got some energy on one side, and now I've got some energy coming through. The, this little ball itself doesn't pass all the way through, but the energy does. So when the light energy strikes one side of the lucite, something happens on the subatomic level. Energy is transferred to the next atom in the matrix, in the material. And then that energy is transferred to the next atom, that energy is transferred to the next atom, that energy is transferred to the next atom, and finally that energy comes out. And so the atoms of this material are such that light will interact in this unique way. With the dark balloon, 
the atoms are such that light interacts in a different way, changes to heat energy, and melts the balloon. This is a lot of fun. Well, interesting things here in Oswego, New York. Pay attention. Bye-bye.